sovereignty is under attack. The current crop of politicians are talking about the economy and jobs, but they don't seem to understand that in this age of globalism, America is competing against global governance, also known as the New World Order, whose goal is to crush America's economy and is well on the way to accomplishing that. The job of the American people is to either educate our leaders or replace them. The question we have to ask ourselves in this election season is, how do we determine who to vote for that can restore America's economy and protect its sovereignty at the same time. Now let us not confuse global trade with globalism. People have been trading across geographic borders for centuries. They were doing that way before America was born, before Rhodes and Henry Ford, before railroads, before the Wright brothers. Even before our ancestors discovered the earth was round, people were trading what they had for things they wanted and needed. Yes, airplanes, cell phones, and email facilitate trade. Yes, we like our modern conveniences. There's nothing wrong with that. The point is that America built the greatest society and greatest economy and greatest military the modern world has known and did it with individual property rights and with liberty and sovereignty intact while actively participating in world trade. That tells us we don't need global governance or a new world order or a one world order to rebuild our nation's strength. It tells us what we need are leaders who understand the value of global trade and the danger of global governance. America's sovereignty depends on finding, supporting, and electing leaders who put our nation's sovereignty first before their greedy, self-serving desire to prosper from selling us out to corporate lobbyists and foreign countries. If there are candidates who are aware of the UN's plan to destroy America's sovereignty as part of creating a one-world global government, they haven't spoken out about it. Each day, new examples emerge of economic disaster, loss of personal property rights, and the ravages of illegal immigration as our leaders choose to follow UN mandates and not the American Constitution. Meanwhile, we the people grow more anxious. People are riding all over the globe because they don't have leaders they trust to be on their side. When people have no hope, they have nothing to lose by rioting. America has everything to lose from rioting because it could put us in the New World Order's grip. Now is the time we need great leaders. We need leaders who will tell us before the primaries that they understand and that they will protect us from the New World Order and from judges who rule by feelings and social justice, not by the law. We need leaders who will eliminate czars and hold Congress accountable to do its job. We need leaders who will support a free press, who will be willing to tell us the truth without a press secretary to spin us around. We need leaders who will use military might judiciously, leaders who will get us out of the United Nations and who will have a cabinet made up of patriots, not thieves, and who will call into play a society that honors truth, hard work, and integrity. It will take more than talk to save America. We ask you to consider this now, because after the primaries, it will be too late. Consider this a call to action, the burning question we must get answered from every single candidate is, what will you do to protect America's sovereignty?